friends in this video we are going to study the substitution method which is used for the measurement of medium resistances medium resistances are those resistances which are having the value between the range from 1 ohm to 100 kilo ohms so resistances having the value in this range they are categorized as medium resistances so here we will study the substitution method which is used for the measurement of such medium resistances so let us start with our topic as the name says substitution method so here we are going to substitute an unknown resistance whose value we want to measure with a standard resistance. So when we will do this substitution through that we will calculate the value. So let us first see the circuit diagram for this method. So this is the circuit diagram for the substitution method. You can see here we have a rheostat. Okay. Then we have an ammeter which is measuring the current. R is the unknown resistance and S is the standard resistance. E is the EMF of the battery. Okay. And here we have a switch which can be put to two position either at one and either at two. So R is the unknown resistance. Small R is the regulating resistance. A is the ammeter. Okay, and E is the EMF of the battery. Now this switch it can be placed at the two positions 1 and 2. So when the switch is at position 1 then resistance is connected in the circuit. So this circuit will be like the regulating uh, this uh, rheostat regulating resistance then a meter then the unknown resistance and then this battery okay so when uh, unknown resistance is uh, connected in the circuit then current will start flowing through this okay so we are going to vary this regulating resistance with the help of this rheostat we have a sliding contact over it so we are going to move this contact so the value of this resistance will change so by changing this value we are going to choose a proper scale in this ammeter suppose that the working current in this uh, circuit we want that this current should be 10 milliampere so we are going to vary this sliding contact such that the ammeter it points towards the 10 milliampere of current so when this uh, pointer is at 10 milliampere then we are going to change the position of the switch now the switch will come to at position number two and then the standard resistance will be connected in the circuit now we are not going to change the settings of this rheostat and the ammeter we are not going to make any change in the circuit now when the current is again constant 10 milliampere rheostat we have don't uh, we have not changed its settings so now we will change the settings of this uh, standard resistance in the standard resistance we have various dial resistors so we are going to uh, every time we are going to change the value of this standard resistance suppose that 
we are getting uh, here the value like uh, 10 ohms we have put or 11 ohms 12 ohms we will change the value so that the same deflection of 10 milliamperes what we have got in the case of the unknown resistance same deflection is obtained in the case of standard resistance also okay so when same deflection that is same current 10 milliamperes is obtained it means that the value of this unknown resistance is equal to the value of the standard resistance so through this substitution of the resistance we are measuring the unknown resistance so let us uh, study its working that how we are measuring the current when what we are doing when the switch is at position one then unknown resistance is connected okay so we are going to adjust the regulating resistance So uh, we are going to change this regulating resistance using the sliding contact of the rheostat. It is a rheostat which is a variable resistance. So uh, we are uh, moving that sliding contact so that a proper scale can be chosen for the ammeter. Now when the ammeter pointer it has our uh, chosen value like suppose we are using 10 milliamperes then we are going to uh, put we are going to throw the switch at position number 2 now when the switch is at position number 2 the standard resistance is connected Now we are going to change the value of this standard resistance until we are getting the same deflection as we have obtained in the case of unknown resistance. Now as the same deflection we are obtaining in both the cases like working current, a meter reading is the same, it is 10 milliamperes. So current is same, it means the resistances values are equal. Okay, it means that the unknown resistance R is equal to the standard resistance S. Okay, so we are substituting the unknown resistance with the standard resistance and through that substitution we are measuring the value of that unknown resistance. Okay, so this was the substitution method. Now this method the accuracy of this method it depends upon the emf of the battery you have seen here that in this connection we have used a battery here and this battery is providing a constant emf to the circuit now when the emf is constant and current is constant then only we can substitute the standard resistance with the unknown resistance or we can say that these two resistances are equal if there is any change in the emf then this uh, the values of the two resistances they will not be equal because resistance is equal to v by i we have made v as constant then we have made the working current as also constant then only we can equate the two resistances or we can substitute the two resistances okay so the accuracy of this method it depends upon the emf of the battery
also if there is any resistance in the circuit also then also its accuracy will be affected Now there are other methods also which are used for the measurement of medium resistances like a meter voltmeter method. So if we compare the two methods substitution method and the ammeter voltmeter method then substitution method is more accurate than the ammeter voltmeter method. Because in ammeter voltmeter method what we are doing we are using an ammeter and a voltmeter and then we are measuring the resistance by dividing the readings of the voltmeter and the a meter now the accuracy of this method it depends upon the fact that a meter should have an internal resistance which is equal to zero and the internal resistance of the voltmeter should be infinite then only the value of the resistance which we are measuring will be equal to the true value of the resistance so in the case of a meter voltmeter method the accuracy depends upon the accuracy of the meters and the voltmeter now ideally uh, we are or practically we can say that we don't have uh, resistances which will have an internal resistance as zero and voltmeter which is having an internal resistance as infinite okay practically it is impossible so a meter voltmeter method it gives us an inaccurate results whereas the substitution method it gives us more accurate results so substitution method is more accurate than the ammeter voltmeter method. Now this substitution method, it is not uh, generally used for the measurement of the medium resistances. This method can be used for uh, in some form of modification for the measurement of high resistances. In the case of uh, bridges also, this substitution principle is used for the measurement of resistances or for the measurement of other parameters. And in the high frequency AC measurements also, this substitution method or substitution substitution principle is used. So in this video we studied about the substitution method which is used for the measurement of medium resistances. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.